We're gonna take heavy cream, whipped cream. We're gonna add one cup. Do you know what one cup mean? One cup and then you pour the whole cow in there. Hiya. Niece and nephew, we almost at 5 million subscribers. Fui yo! When Uncle Roger hit 5 million subscribers, I gonna make my own Thai green curry. So if you want to see that and you're not subscribed yet, pound subscribe button like how Auntie Esther pound trip hit. Let's cook some butter chicken! It's a, a spicy, creamy, buttery chicken curry. First steps of making Hmm, who this nephew Matty? He look like baby of Jack Black and Gordon Ramsay. And why this kitchen so colorful? Is this kitchen for children? He looks so weird in there. Feel like a convict break into children TV studio. We need to make a base. We're gonna use our blender. We're gonna take two onions. Two, two whole onion. That feel like a bit much for butter chicken. Onion for butter chicken, okay. But always need to be less than tomato. Why you use so much onion? Why? If you want to cry so bad, just talk to your therapist. We're gonna add five garlic cloves. Garlic good. Two long red chilies. Chili good. I like it spicy. So, we're gonna add two bird's eye chilies. Hi, uh, bird eye chili is Thai, not Indian. But I guess sometime in Western country, very hard to find spicy chili. So we have to use bird eye. That okay, I guess. Those are spicy. I want the sauce to be just hot enough that I'm sweating, a little bit of fear, but I can finish the dish. Ah, that's same as Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger need a bit of fear to finish also. That's why I love getting choked. <laughs> Jesus. I'm really sorry, children. We're gonna use one large knob of ginger. Ginger good, correct? Take your spoon and you can just peel. Good. Your spoon to peel ginger. With good. Your spoon. Nice chopping. Just a little bit of olive oil. Wait, wait, what? 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 Little bit of what? Just a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil for butter chicken. Oh no, this Jamie Oliver level mistake. Hi, uh, nephew Matty. Cannot use olive oil. Why you use white people oil for Indian food? Jamie Oliver use olive oil in egg fried rice. And nephew Matty use olive oil in butter chicken. <sighs> Uncle Roger sad now. Indian people everywhere saying, oh, dirty maki. Is that correct? Let Uncle Roger know. Uncle Roger trying to learn Indian curse word. About six tablespoons, and now we're just gonna pulse. Okay, pulse good. <sighs> smell that. Smell what smell? It's just raw onion and raw chili. Where I got good smell? Usually people saute the onion first before planting to get rid of raw onion flavor. This is ghee. Ah, ghee, ghee good. If you boil butter, it separates. You got the clarified butter, and then on the bottom you have all the whey, all the fat. It's like using a good explanation. Very authentic. It has a higher burn rate. Maybe he can save this butter. All of our little vegetable. This oh, now he saute. This smells really good. We're gonna make the most insane butter chicken you've ever seen. So now we've cooked down our base, our vegetable base with the chilies. We're gonna add our spices. Three tablespoons of turmeric. Wait, what, what, what? No, turmeric, wrong spice for butter chicken. It's the wrong flavor, hiya. Butter chicken supposed to be a little bit sweet, but turmeric have earthy bitter flavor. Turmeric and butter chicken, just like vegan people and happiness. They don't belong together. And two tablespoons chili powder. Cumin, correct. Cumin correct. Ground coriander. Coriander correct. Garam masala. Garam masala good. Garam masala is almost like a curry paste. It's not a curry paste, it's powder. Wait, why? What? Garam masala is almost like a curry paste. What? Are you confused or something? Garam masala and curry paste, how is it the same? Do you know difference between powder and paste? Is this guy high or something? I, uh, but nephew Matty don't look like he do drug. The only thing high about him is his cholesterol. 
What the heat is gonna do with those spices is just open them up, let them come alive. Now we're gonna add some of our trusty tomato paste. Three tablespoons. Tomato, good. Now, we're gonna add one jar of tomato to sauce. What? Why? If you already have tomato puree there, why use tomato paste? You wanna make sure that you're using just like um, a tomato puree. You don't really want chunks of tomato. You want it to be really that correct. Butter chicken is a smooth dish. Everything's chilled out. I didn't wanna add the fenugreek when we added all the dry spices because I didn't want to hurt the fenugreek. Good. Fenugreek always add at the end, otherwise gravy become bitter. We're gonna add one tablespoon of fenugreek. Let's just think of it as like Indian oregano. I mean, don't call it Indian oregano. Just call it what it is, fenugreek or kasuri meti. No need to call it different name. How would you like it if I call ketchup white people sriracha? Cook for about one hour. We're just gonna let this simmer. The butter chicken sauce. Look at this. This has been just simmering. Mm, not bad. We still haven't added our cream, but we're gonna add our chicken. This is a boneless, skinless chicken breast. No, chicken breast again. Everybody using chicken breast, like most Indian restaurant Uncle Roger go to in UK, they all use chicken breast. It's so frustrating. Uncle Roger rather be vegan than eat chicken breasts. Hiya. I don't like chicken breasts. Most of the time. You don't like chicken breast, then why you at it? But, butter chicken. It is the chicken breast that you're looking for. No, it not. Uncle Roger have so many good butter chicken using chicken thigh. Just tell me, nephew Matty, do you actually like chicken breast? Maybe this guy like breast because he have two of them. Emotional damage. It is the chicken breast that you're looking for. It's light, it is fluffy. It doesn't have to break down. It cooks very quickly. Cook very quickly is not reason to use an ingredient. You know what else cook very quickly? All of Jamie Oliver recipe. We're adding <sighs> chicken breasts. We're gonna add it. Wait, what? Right Just no, no, no. <laughs> He's not even marinating the chicken. He just throw it in there. Uncle Roger's so upset, I put my leg down from chair high, yeah. Butter chicken, marinating, most important part. Just chicken thigh for nothing. You make all the Indian ancestor cry now, nephew Matty. I know marination, so many extra steps, but it's important. Marination is a lot like foreplay. It long, tiresome, but you get really good reward at the end. Also, it even better if you use yogurt. <sighs> So many big mistakes. So we're not gonna brown it. We're getting so close. We're gonna put the lid on it one more time. And in 10 minutes, we're gonna finish this guy. Chicken breast, as soon as that puppy turns white, it's cooked. Little fluffy pillow. Little what? Little fluffy pillow. Bitch, you a fluffy pillow, hiya. Have you had chicken breast? Chicken breast drier than my ex-wife. Not fluffy pillow at all. Pillow is comforting and great to cuddle. Opposite of Auntie Helen. What the hell he's saying? Ooh, that's hot. Okay, here we go. I need my cream. Cream, I correct? Cream. But, 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 that not cream? That, that milk? Or the Uncle Roger C wrong? Okay, here we go. I need my cream. Which one's the cream? See, it say milk. I think this nephew Matty can't read. We're gonna take heavy cream, whipped cream. We're gonna add one cup. Do you know what one cup mean? One cup and then you pour the whole cow in there, hiya. We're gonna add one cup. So much milk, are you making butter chicken or are you making cereal? Look at how this transforms. We have a quarter pound of butter. Okay, you heard butter me. correct. Unsalted butter. Butter for butter chicken, at least you have that. So this still better than Jamie Oliver, butterless butter chicken. We're gonna put it in, and we're gonna stir that butter. We need that butter. Too yellow, too much turmeric. Now look at that sauce consistency. 
That's what you're looking for. It's nice and thick. What? Where got Put thick? On it. Where got thick? See again? Nice and thick. Nice and thick? No, that sauce just so trippy. But the chicken sauce should not be like that. You can hold it up and it won't just run. That sauce so thin, a club bouncer will let it in for free. Butter chicken is good to go. GTG. GTG, what that stand for? Going to garbage. This is the star of our meal. Look at that. We're just gonna take some cilantro. Cilantro on top. Mm, that a bit weird. Look at this. Oh. Nephew Matty gets so many things wrong about butter chicken. So much misinformation. I thought I was watching Joe Rogan podcast. And also niece and nephew, do you realize he never even adds salt to this dish? Salt? Put some salt or MSG or something, nephew Matty. And no cashew paste in this butter chicken. Where the richness? Use milk instead of cream and he used olive oil. Hiya. But worst mistake of all, he didn't marinate the chicken. The chicken come from farm an hour ago and he throw it in his sauce. Before we go to blooper, due to phenomenal demand, we adding few extra show to me and nephew Nigel stand up tour. Uncle Roger feels so happy many of you want to see me live. So we got extra show in San Francisco, LA, New York, Seattle, London and Amsterdam. Link in description, go click and buy. Unless you Auntie Esther, then of course Uncle Roger getting you free ticket. Spank subscribe button now, otherwise Uncle Roger come spank you. <laughs> It's gonna get a few dirty comments, like we can go with that too. Maybe this guy like breasts because he have two of them. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> that is a great meme when you just want to say something mean to somebody. <laughs> that meme makes every insult acceptable. You know, like, just say someone stupid, that's mean. I say, you're, you're stupid, and then... <laughs> Emotional damage. That, that makes it funny. Little fluffy pillow. Bitch, you a fluffy pillow. Hiya. <laughs> Sorry, Maddie. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me. Nice and thick. The sauce runnier than my diarrhea. <laughs> and it even better if you use yogurt. Uncle Roger loves using yogurt in my foreplay. Yogurt very high in protein. You ever have foreplay that healthy? <laughs> So many people just spray cream on their body. Hiya, don't do that. Then you foreplay too much, get diabetes. Just use yogurt. Yogurt for foreplay, so nice, so creamy, so smooth. <laughs>